guys this is Mobin. we are talking about the respiratory system today is the introduction to the restrictive lung diseases definition of the restrictive lung disease is simple it is any condition in which there is not enough volume of the lungs left to allow the air to go in so there is a restriction to the amount of air going in the types of restrictive lung diseases are three primary types and then under each type we have separate definitions the definition and the diseases that we will primarily cover in this series are going to be the lung parenchymal diseases so let's first look at the types of the restrictive lung diseases so types are extra pulmonary 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 parenchymal and neuromuscular so three primary categories of the disease what are these extra pulmonary for example obesity simplest patient is so obese that there is weight enough weight on the on the chest that patient is not able to move the chest properly and so lungs are not expanded correctly and there is not enough air that goes in that is obesity similarly scoliosis which is the the sidewise movement or sidewise scoliosis which is the angulation of the spinal cord and that causes restriction in the pulmonary or chest movement as well on the neuromuscular there could be for example myasthenia gravis there can be problem with the diaphragm there can be polio and so on so neuromuscular myasthenia gravis diaphragmatic failure or polio myelitis and so on so these are the ones where the muscles are not working and then the parenchymal diseases can be idiopathic idiopathic we do not know what is happening these can be autoimmune autoimmune granulomatous diseases for example Wegener's granulomatosis or sarcoidosis and similarly occupational occupational diseases where we could have pneumoconiosis or the minerals like silica asbestos coal and so on and of course that would also mean other irritants for example smoke dust or other such allergens that are chronically irritating the lungs with with that then that means chronic infections for example so if i put here chronic infections for example tuberculosis and so on the the lecture series that we'll do in that we will actually be talking about the parenchymal diseases or the diseases of the lung tissue guys thank you very much for watching this video make sure that you like and subscribe and if possible share it with your friends as well